Hi, my name is Jim Zuccarello. I'm with SNS Technical, the uh, Gas Compression Division Director. Thanks for tuning in to the first of a series of videos we're going to do on compressor maintenance and uh, some basic overhaul tips. Today, I just want to talk to you real quick about setting the oil pressure. Uh, seems like a pretty simple process, but we're just going to go over it real quick. These uh, processes are going to apply to the Blackmer and Corkin line of vertical and horizontal reciprocating compressors. So basically, it's pretty straightforward. Each compressor is going to have a bearing carrier. That's this area right here. On the bearing carrier, you're going to have an oil adjustment screw, and you're also going to have the oil pressure gauge. Uh, on the black motor, it'll be located vertically here, and on the corking, it's going to be on this side of the uh, oil filter over here. So basically, uh, there'll be a few times that you will adjust the oil pressure. Um, as the compressor wears, there's the potential for the oil pressure to drop a bit, and you'll want to keep a monitor on it. You don't want the oil pressure to drop below uh, 20 psi under normal conditions. Uh, it's certainly ideal to have a low oil pressure shutdown switch. Uh, in the event that that pressure were to drop below 18 PSI, that would stop the compressor from running and prevent any catastrophic failure. Uh, but to get back to when you would set it, if you've done an overhaul on the compressor, if ever you've had to remove the bearing carrier, um, and it's generally a good idea to check it after you've done a, uh, an oil change on the compressor as well, just to make sure that the pressure um, under normal circumstances is between 25 and 30 PSI, just depending on exactly what your application uh, calls for in terms of pressures. So that said, the oil pressure adjusting screw again is located here. There's a lock nut on this screw and then there is also an adjusting screw. Uh, to raise the pressure, you're gonna turn the screw, once you've broken that, knot, that lock nut free, you're gonna uh, turn it clockwise and to lower the pressure, you're gonna turn it counterclockwise. Once you've got it set, you just simply lock the nut back in place and confirm that the pressure is held. Uh, there'll be a little inset on this video that you'll see where we actually demonstrate that, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Occasionally, when you've done an oil change and you're trying to get oil pressure when you start the compressor, you can find that uh, it doesn't immediately build up pressure. If that's the case, one of the simplest, uh, simplest ways to alleviate that, typically it's a result of the pump losing prime uh, and there's a little bit of an air pocket. We recommend just loosening the oil filter a bit to let the, uh, the air kind of burp out, if you will, uh, and that helps to bring that pressure up. If you're not able to gain oil pressure within about uh, 15 or 20 seconds, you need to shut the compressor down and start the process over again uh, and see if you can get a prime in there. Just double check that your alignment pin on your pump is set and make sure that uh, you've got uh, all of the, uh, the plunger and spring inside of there uh, situated in the proper orientation. That's pretty much it about setting oil pressure on a vertical compressor. Uh, please like our page, leave comments if you'd like, and uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for tuning in.